And each week, Alan crosses to the fantastic Peggy Grandy for the US report. And with Joe Biden in the White House, there's always plenty to discuss. He's the gift that keeps on giving. But before we go to Peggy, who will join us from Los Angeles tonight, there's been a frightening development in California, her home state. That is this Governor Gavin Newsom, who fancies himself as a contender for the presidency of the United States, should Biden choose not to recontest. Well, he's expected to sign a bill which bars Californian doctors giving a medical opinion on COVID, which differs from the state's health bureaucracy. So apparently public health bureaucrats are the arbiters of truth. This is big government gone mad. If signed into law, California would be the first state in America to legislate limits on doctors' freedom of speech. This is censorship. This is an attack on civil liberties. This is a situation where government is censoring Americans. If the saying, when America sneezes, the world catches a cold, if that saying is true, then Australians should be fearful that if politicians here get a whiff of this, they too may line up to legislate the views and speech of doctors. Let's bring in Peggy Grandy to get her views on this and more. Peggy, thanks for joining me. Thank you, Jake, so much for having me on today. Uh, Peggy, this bill well, in California is very dangerous. Sorry, Peggy, but th it's a very dangerous bill, this one. Isn't the purpose of science to challenge orthodoxy and the consensus? Absolutely. And I am coming to you from Los Angeles, California, and I can't believe anybody would listen to Gavin Newsom in anything. California has become a mocking, uh, has become the laughing stock of the world. We are the tip of the spear of bad ideas. Here is a governor who just in the last week or so said that we were going to do a moratorium on gas cars. And then when we have a heat wave, he says nobody's allowed to charge their electric vehicles at night. This is a guy who told us we have a 15 day moratorium on watering our grass as we're going into fire season. He tells us that we're not allowed to use our appliances in the evening because it'll crush the grid, but we've had rolling blackouts during the day. So I don't know why anybody listens to this governor. But back to your point about silencing op opposing ideas, he is dangerous in this as well. He has been wrong on everything with COVID and now using doctors and politicizing them, this is dangerous. This is something that not only the nation should be watching, but the world should be weary of as well. Well, Tracy Hogue, an epidemiologist in Grass Valley, California, said the idea of scientific consensus medicine was basically an oxymoron. Peggy, isn't this attack on free speech by the state of California in direct violation of the First Amendment? Of course it is, but that hasn't stopped the Democrats from doing anything against the First Amendment, the Second Amendment. You pick an amendment and they want to go against it if it advances their political cause. And the very nature of science is we should always be questioning. There's never a complete truth in science. I mean, didn't we believe that the world was flat and the moon was made of cheese and all these things that <laughs> science is continually evolving as facts come out, as technology advances. And so there shouldn't ever be a snapshot moment in time where we say this is where truth stops. This is where science ends. We should be constantly advancing science as um, additional truths come out. So this is dangerous.